So today we're doing a timing tensioner on a 1997 K1500. The parts you're going to need are the tensioner itself, which I'm using an AC Delco. The idler pulley. And the belt itself. Now mine has the AC with a 110 amp alternator. I have a mock pulley put in here because my AC clutch went out, destroyed my belt a few years ago. And it was too expensive to replace the compressor, so I just put this mock pulley in. It works just as good. So what we're going to end up doing is taking a 3 8 drive wrench, inserting it into this hole right down in here with this style wrench. If you use this, it's very hard to get out because of the ball and the style you have to get in there. It's, it's pretty hard to work around the belt once you put it in there. So let's get to work. So we'll take this wrench here insert it into the slot that's down here like I said as a 3 8 drive when it finally wants to go in and you'll push down to relieve tension off the belt then the belt can actually come right off Pull your wrench out. You may have to actually push on the pulley right here to give yourself a little bit of room. So you push right here and your pulley will fall off your tensioner. You can pull that off your alternator. And just keep track of the way your belts are aligned here in case your belt would happen to fall off the rest of this. So what we're going to do is pull the belt away from the tensioner. We're going to use a half inch socket to pull this bolt out here. So half inch. Make sure it's on all the way so you don't strip it. Mine's not on there that tight, so I'm able to just ratchet it right off. And I've had these stick on me before, so the best thing for these is to take a normal hammer, in my case, brass hammer, tap it around. hand tighten your bolt down here so you don't have any kind of cross threading going on
torque spec on this boat is 27 foot pounds. We got our torque range set to 27 foot pounds. Let's get her torqued up. which is very hard to uh, fit in here when you're trying to fit a two foot bar. Twenty-seven foot pounds. Now we're not only replacing replacing the tensioner, we're also going to replace the idler at the same time while we're at it. Anyway, there's a bolt in there, ten millimeter. Let's get it out of there. Sorry, not half. Not 10. Why did I say 10? I meant half. Everything on this truck is half inch, I swear. Anyway. Sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, most of the time. All right, there we go. We're going to replace it with this guy. Nice and new. Says it's made in Canada. A. take the washer and the bolt itself since they don't supply a new one insert it through and there's also a spacer on the old one you're going to need to take off put it on the new one and there's a lock washer on the old one that was right here that is also going to go on the new one So we'll slide that down the bolt. Easy. Take it off, put it back on the same exact way you took it off. So there's that lock washer, the spacer, the bolt, the washer. We're going to put it right back on there. I could use power tools for this, but you risk the chance of stripping, cross-threading. And in this area, it's so small, it's just easier to put two hands in here. Use a regular ratchet. That's how I always do it. Ratchet. We're going to torque that to 37 foot-pounds. So we're going to take a torque wrench. A lot of these bolts are 37 foot pounds. There's 37 foot pounds. Now make note on how this belt was. So if you're paying attention this belt came down under 
under the tensioner the idler sorry I should correct what I'm saying this is a little hard with one hand since my camera equipment's not working But basically, the normal run is around your AC compressor, if you have an AC compressor, under the idler, over the alternator, down your tensioner, down around your crank, Basically around the crank, comes up around your fan belt, rolls around your fan belt, goes down around the other pulley, up around your AC, and continues. We're going to put the new one on, and here we go. And then once you get it set about where it needs to be, you'll grab that 3 8 swivel wrench again. Kind of slide. This is the tricky part. Well, I guess if you could see, that would help too. So basically, if you could see the insertion point here, you don't want to do this. You want to kind of go behind the belt. insert it into your pulley so as you're pulling down you can slide that belt down over top of it and up over the alternator belt. And there we go. So basically you take it off the alternator belt, alternator pulley I should say, Sl take that down, and then as you're applying tension to the tensioner, you'll slide it up over the alternator, and then you're ready to go. Everything's aligned nicely. So now we have a new idler, new tensioner. Alrighty. Start her up and see what happens. <laughs> 